Hi, this is Shelly. Today we're going to be going back to World War I and with Captain Alan Smith. I've discussed World War hand-to-hand -hand combat, but recently with the surge of a lot of trench war movies such as 1917 and All Quiet on the Western Front, it's absolutely horrific what these men went through, but at the same time, their bravery and just the whole thing, it's it's a subject that's very close to my heart, specifically the First World War, what happened in Verdun and Somme. So today we're going to be looking at some footage of their training and of course Captain Alan Smith being a judoka, we're going to see a lot of judo. So uh, first you're going to see a, a lot of strangles and uh, arm locks from standing and of course throws. So this is very much like how you catch an Ude Garami. Uh, from standing and it's a very versatile arm lock you can get it from anywhere uh, now technically you can argue it's a different name once you grab your jacket and not your wrist it becomes maybe a te gatame but the mechanics will work much like an arm entanglement so uh, of course you have people who are charging at you um, koshi guruma and hip throws are going to be very effective so this is also how you yourself can charge a uh, boxer and catch their head and wheel them off your hips hence the name so uh, encircling the head is very important to create that wheel motion in koshi guruma koshi guruma means hip wheel and it is a very devastating throw where you can either go down with them and really do a lot of damage but in warfare you don't know what you're gonna fall on so especially in the mud and trenches and no man's land and uh, obviously you want to stay standing up and moving as much as possible especially in these times so uh, Koshi Guruma is very effective even kids can do it you see it all the time in playgrounds I myself have done it uh, as a kid uh, defending myself so uh, of course the ambushes from behind one of them being the shoulder throw is very effective obviously the grip of your aggressor is very important so if he's uh, encircling your arms from above you can actually hook the armpit and the tricep and throw them off your shoulder with ippon Seoi Nage. Uh, here you see the name on the bottom left. And again, it's a classic judo throw. You can find it uh, in many disciplines as well around the world, but it's one of these devastating throws. You can do it on the beginner level and at the highest level. So it's a technique that obviously is going to be used when putting someone down in order to finish them. Sukui Nage is another one. Um, for self-defense this is a basic you see it everywhere from the days of Bartitsu and uh, Meiji self-defense uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu are uh, big fans of this uh, throw of course you have the ankle pick from between the legs is also very beneficial with the same situation but this one is gonna be far more devastating and such technique in competition of course not in warfare can evolve into a lot of things like teguruma and the big double leg takedown and uh, now this one i'm not particularly a fan especially in uh, trenches and uh, what happens uh, with the barbed wire and so many things when you watch those movies you know that you don't want to put yourself in this particular position uh, maybe if they're charging they're bigger you have no choice but to fall down underneath them perhaps but with what you see in those movies and reenactments it's it's not where you want to be when you get up they're uh, they're I don't want to say teammate but uh, the, another soldier is gonna probably waiting for you to get up and just finish you off or not even wait for you to get up so ambush attacks are obviously something very important in warfare here is someone crawling through no man's land trying to go back to their trench 
you can of course catch them with hadaka jime or the naked choke this one here is the one where you actually just press on the trachea and choking them not strangling them as in blocking the blood flow to their head it can be very painful and it can just cut out the wind off their lungs and even kill them swiftly if the uh, esophagus is crushed so you can do so many things with this uh, strangle it's very dangerous and it's very effective and again as an ambush it can be very beneficial so world war one was one of the most vicious because you have these uh, new weapons that were being invented but at the same time you have these very old school strategies so you are putting all these soldier at point blank in front of these newly invented machines which explains a lot of the casualties unfortunately but again the bravery of these men was something so um here you see it's one of those ways where you can actually detain someone is te gatame so you can hold on to their jacket and extend their elbow and grab their wrist and pushing it down to exert a lot of pressure and from there you can lead them as a hostage um, also prevents them from doing anything unexpected so this technique can be effective in those scenarios you can put yourself next to them not in front of them and away from the free arm so of course uh, another thing was gas masks because uh, gas weapons were new and of course bayonet is very effective uh, in those times um, when you charge at close distance when you reach the trench or you're trying to gain ground uh, bayonet training is very uh, important you have all these arts based on the bayonet like ju kendo uh, when the french taught the japanese uh, the bayonet and they used it but they used their own foot placement and not so much the french but the weapon is the same so um, this one here is very uh, important so again uh, these men um, were very brave just the stalemate that happened on the western front sometimes hundreds of thousands would die just to gain a few meters and eventually a lot of them just went to the meat grinder unfortunately and those movies really portray this and uh, these men are one of those that i constantly think about so if you have anything to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was shady and thank you for listening